So here are the defects. One is you can have a, a dysfunction in the hypothalamus, which is actually really difficult to measure nowadays and, and is not run on tests. Uh, you can have pituitary dysfunction, which is probably one of the more common types of dysfunction that, that we see in our practice personally. This, this means that the pituitary can't tell the thyroid to produce hormone. You can have thyroid gland dysfunction itself. This is primary hypothyroidism. This is where the thyroid gland just isn't working properly and uh, cannot produce adequate amounts of thyroid hormone. You can have a thyroid binding globulin issue. And now this is very often not seen on lab tests, unfortunately. But if, you're, if you have elevated thyroid binding globulin levels, usually due to estrogen, so somebody on hormone replacement or birth control or they have some kind of exposure to extra estrogens, uh, may have elevated thyroid binding globulin. And what that means is that these proteins are holding on to so much thyroid hormone that most of your thyroid hormone is not available to be converted or enter into the cells. So this person will have hypothyroid type symptoms, although their lab tests may look fairly normal, unless you know what you're looking for. Another problem is over or under conversion by the liver. You can have over conversion to T3 or under conversion to T3, both ending up as hypothyroid type symptoms. Even though you might have elevated T3 levels, what happens is high levels of hormone in the body, any hormone will shut down receptor sites on the cell to that hormone. It's just too much. So the body starts to shut that down and you end up with uh, low thyroid symptoms, even though you might have elevated T3. Low, low T3 or under conversion is also very common nowadays, and we see that quite often. You can also have dysbiosis in your gut, meaning it's an imbalance of good to bad bacteria. So you don't have adequate amounts of the good bacteria to convert the T3 sulfate and acetic acid into T3. Uh, and then lastly, you can have cellular receptor dysfunction for thyroid hormone. And this is often due to things like elevated cortisol, vitamin A deficiency, but for some reason the thyroid hormone can't get into the cell. And if it can't get in, you won't have the metabolic effects. Now lastly, we'll talk about autoimmune disease. Autoimmune disease is basically the body's immune system attacking uh, any part of your body, any tissues at all. Specifically, it can attack different elements of your uh, thyroid physiology. I, I mention this here because if you have an autoimmune thyroid condition, you will have low thyroid symptoms or, or hyper symptoms in some cases, but it's an immune system issue. It's not a thyroid issue and needs to be treated differently.